All right, the countdown to the 2020 election is on, and Yahoo Finance is taking some time to speak with some of the folks who are running for president. In our latest installation of Meet the Candidate, Rick Newman chatted with Senator Kirsten Gillibrand, a Democrat from New York. Rick Newman joins us now. Uh, so, Rick, uh, what did you talk about with the senator who I think people had some high hopes for maybe a couple of years ago. Um, she is the, sitting in the seat once occupied by Hillary Clinton, um, but has, has not found as much traction in the polls, I think, as Gillibrand and her team would have liked. Yeah, I think a lot of people don't know who she is yet. Uh, and I think running for president is one way to get more people to know who you are. She says she is the best uh, candidate for women voters. Uh, she uh, is go uh, running against legalized corruption uh, otherwise known as lobbying. So she wants to make a bunch of reforms that would do things like ban members of Congress from lobbying uh, once they retire from Congress. I asked her what she would do to help uh, ordinary workers and connect with them. Here's what she had to say about that. We value, unfortunately, our shareholders more than our workers, and that's taught in every business school in so how America. How do you change that? A couple of ways. Um, First, some structural changes, uh, certainly supporting our unions so that more uh, unions can collectively bargain and get better wages and better benefits for workers. To uh, change your minimum wage so it's a living wage, uh, get rid of tip minimum wage and just have one at 15. What would you like to see the federal minimum wage 15, at? 15 and then index it to inflation. Second, uh, change the structure of work, uh, having things like national paid leave. We're the only industrialized country in the world that doesn't have it. And it's a drag on our economy because a lot of workers, they need to meet a family need, an urgent crisis, a dying parent, a sick spouse, a new child. And either they, they leave work because they can afford it and meet that need, or they keep working and not meet the need because they can't feed their kids without it. Actually sponsoring legislation as a senator uh, that would create a paid family leave program. Mm -hmm. uh, one other thing I find interesting, so she supports Medicare for All, a big single payer uh, program for health care, but she did not raise her hand during the debate when the question was, would you get rid of the private insurance system? Her idea is let anybody who wants to join in Medicare and pay premiums, pay, pay their way in, uh, and then just let Medicare compete with the for-profit yeah. uh, insurance uh, companies. And her view is, uh, if that were the case, uh, Medicare would just compete them out of business because they have to account for profits and, you know, million dollar paychecks for CEOs and stuff like that. I'm not sure that would happen. I think the, the other the counter argument is that uh, the for profit industry is more efficient and mm -hmm. can find ways to, uh, you know, cut out costs and deliver care more efficiently. Um, I think it's doubtful we're going to get to find out. I don't think that approach is likely to happen, but yeah. I could be wrong. We'll see. Now, uh, very quickly, you've talked to a lot of these candidates. If you look at uh, maybe Joe Biden sort of in the center left camp, and then you've got uh, perhaps Bernie Sanders over on the further left, where do you kind of see Gillibrand falling in that spectrum? Uh, I guess I would put her in between the two. And mm -hmm. I, one of the things I asked her was, um, what, do you, what would you do about um, the corporate tax rate, which the president cut from 35% to 21%? Um, unlike Warren and Sanders, she doesn't basically say raise taxes on everybody who makes you know, $250,000 a year or more. She said she would push the corporate tax rate up a little bit, but she, little bit, but she also said she supports an idea uh, for, for what she calls mission-focused uh, companies. If you can prove that you're a company who's doing the right thing for your workers, maybe you get a lower tax mm -hmm. rate. Now, I think that would be hard to implement, yep. mm -hmm. but we have had... Uh, we have had a guest on here from a from a, a nonprofit called Just Capital that is doing exactly yeah. that. They are ranking the biggest yes. 1,000 uh, companies in the United States based on what they their what they call their Just method methodology, and they have it. Right. They have they have ranked a th and they a thousand have an companies. ETF. That's yeah, that's right. They have an ETF it's based out on of that. Goldman so, Sachs. Yep. So it's doable. Yep. It's out there. The All right. The conversation is evolving. I guess is how I'd put yes. it. Yes. Very diplomatic of you. All right, Rick Newman. <laughs> thanks for stopping by. Thanks.